Thanks for sitting down with us again. Mr. Haverford here says you were very impressive during the first interview. I'm interested in talking a little bit more about what you might be able to do for this company. Thank you, sir. I'm pretty excited. And I have to say, your clients here are a very impressive pedigree. I remember feeling like a big shot the first time I got to manage a national account over at Van Spreck Industrial. But I was tired of thinking small. I'd much rather be a medium fish in a big pond than top dog down in the bush leagues. You know what I mean? Of course. So, like, how's your week going? Mr. McShane, before we get into your qualifications in depth, we need to talk about something that we found a little puzzling. Okay, shoot. Well, we, we found your band online. I see. How did you like my clarinet? Clarinet? Yes. You're referring to my chamber quintet for St. Bonaventure, yes? Sorry, I've played in a number of ensembles. Mr. McShane, have you ever Googled yourself? I'm looking at a SoundCloud page for a band called the Scroats. Are you aware that this is the third thing that comes up when you Google your name? I was not. Not aware of that. Let's take a quick listen. Yeah, we were in college and we thought it would be funny if there was a hypothetical band that, you know... It's embarrassing that you found the one I wouldn't want my future boss to find. <laughs> it's really the worst one. No, no. Uh. This isn't even close to the worst one. And it's not even in the conversation for most offensive. Nah, we never really recorded this stuff. We were just goofing around in the dorms one day. Richie, it's on here. You recorded it. You recorded it and published it on the internet. It has your name on it. Nah, that's a fake name. It's... Oh, that. That's... It's a different Richie McShane. I don't... You put your address on here. That's a fake address. This is your address. Your current address. It's fake. That's a fake address. Because as you know, I live on Watercrest Road. That says Watercrest Lane. I've noticed that none of these songs are even in the same genre. The only thing they have in common is that they're intensely and exceptionally unprofessional. Let's play another one real quick. No, let's not bother. Tickets, please. Oh. Everybody show your tickets before you go in the theater. Oh, your tickets. You, sir, in the gray trench coat. May I see your tickets? Steve's got his ticket and his d*** in his hand. Watching Brenda Frazier and Encino Man. He's got a Nestle Crunch and a Charleston Chew. Got a wrinkled sack, prime with mango. Previews go on and his pants come down. The lights dim, he's punching the clown. He pulls the popcorn trick on himself. His pole points forth as he's choking the elf. Steve, kind of silly. I'm getting kicked out. All the little kids are starting to shout. Showing all the ushers. It's the strummy fun gun. Falling on his boner when he starts to run. Shows up at the movies with Kevin Chilada. Tackles his balls like Jeremiah Trotter. All the movie goers start to shudder when he flings a batch up the baby butter. Someone called 911. Cops in the lobby, Steve's in his seat with a big wop throbby. The credits roll and Steve's in jail. He finally gets thrusted by another male. Steve Conicelli. So, uh, are your clients required to file Section 39 Federal Regulatory? Mr. McShane, Richie, can I shoot straight with you? What the f***? Nah, this group was like another lifetime ago. You have a gig this Saturday. That's... Wow, that's on there, huh? Richie, dude, I cannot hire you with this shit out there. I simply, they won't let me. HR is going to find this and go over my head. I'm surprised you managed to get the first interview. Well, Cindy and personnel, she sometimes helps us sell merch at our gigs. You have merch? Please don't Google it. <sighs> Let's forget about the job stuff for a minute. What... What's the deal with this music? You have a song called Ass Wednesday. Well, eight years ago, Jimbo and Nib gave up Ass Wednesdays for Lent. 
and we wanted to honor them with like a composition. Tell me how oh, sorry. Is that... Was that your ringtone? No, that's my push notification from Tinder. I'm sorry? Oh, well, you know certain dating apps let you put your Spotify info in there or Instagram? Mine has the feed from my Robinhood stock trading app, so... Are you swiping on Tinder during a pandemic? Well, yeah. Like I said, my profile shows my stock portfolio in there. So basically, anytime Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Smith & Wesson, or Dow Chemicals have a really strong trading day, I usually get a bunch of thirsty bug chasers trying to come look at my obnoxious gun collection. <sighs> when can you start? Take a selfies with your phone And after the date, I'ma take you home Yo, I hold the door and I stay in check Because your father's wishes I respect, uh-huh You tried to test me when you tried to dress me But I look good in a tie and the best see I'm not trying to get in your pants I just wanna meet your parents, oh! Sneaking in your back door And by your back door, I mean your fleshy asterisk Here I am Crawling across the floor Keeping your nose and your eyes warm Here I am, L.P.'s Canada Not a when toward as I'm cool Here I am, giving you S Wednesday Turtle on your motherfucking forehead <laughs>